Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he... The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Well, the Chiefs offense is going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL, it's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to 3 P. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. The numbers for Travis Kelsey last week. Eight catches, 64 yards, and a touchdown. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. Now Mahomes. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And now it's second down. But you look at this defense. They were excellent a week ago in that victory over the Colts. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers. Takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big way. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And I think it's safe to say that, and I heard him say it in the post-game press conference, that was a team win last week because he didn't really play up to his normal standards, throwing two interceptions. No touchdown. Yeah, didn't offset it at all, but the team found a way to get it done. They start the drive with Cook. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. There are the numbers for Cook from a week ago. 19 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. Has nine rushing touchdowns on the season, so a lot of credit has to go to the rest of the offense because you know those big guys up front are doing work. But now the goal is to get to 10. And don't for a second think that the defense doesn't know that. They'd like to do their best to keep him at the end zone in this one. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Motion man is Shakir. To throw, it's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level. And sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. And I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. Throwing now is Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's one way and a good way to get things going offensively. One play in, and they're already on the move. The defense... They're hoping that's not a sign of things to come as this game unfolds. First down, here's the run with Cook. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. From the gun, it's Allen. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. This defense for the Chiefs, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Allen. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game... Their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Ed Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles. And they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's Hopkins. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 44-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. In motion right goes Hopkins. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. All right, second down, right back to Hunt. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's been a real threat in the red zone and beyond. As you take a look at the NFL leaders in rushing touchdowns by a QB, you'll notice he's worked his way into the top five at this point of the season. Allen now looks to throw. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Here's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And now we've got a third down and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Shoves him away. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. You talk about this Chiefs defense. They were terrific last week in the win over Denver. This defense has a lot to be proud of coming off of the game they played last week. When you only give up 14 points in a game, not only do you give your team a chance to win, you fully expect to win because you figure your offense is going to score more than that. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Now Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Allen going to throw. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Allen. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 24-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with and there's a completion right there. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! Josh Allen. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have retaken the lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Now 
And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs ready to go again. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Swings this out for Hunt. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. They fake the give. Now Mahomes rolling to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Credit the sack to Von Miller. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it. And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A give to Cook out of the gun. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. From the 35, here's a second down and nine. Again, it's Cook. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And now they'll throw with Allen. Open man is Samuel, complete. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Cook following the penalty, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Forced out to his left. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. 
Here's Allen to throw it. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Here now, second and four. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. To the air. Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Curtis Samuel. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bills go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Casey's offense ready to take over. And Charles, still a long way to go in the season. We know that. But as it stands, these are your top two seeds in the AFC. So I ask you, is this a potential AFC championship preview? Brandon, I need you to get me a fence and a saddle because I'm about to ride that bad boy because I think there's so many good teams in the AFC. Maybe we can look at like three games a weekend and say, this could be an AFC championship preview. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. They run again with Hunt. And he'll get about three here, up to the 44-yard line. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. I'm glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. So here are the Bills to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Samuel in motion. Now Allen to throw. Throwing to start the drive. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, it's Allen. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And again, it's Allen. That's caught, Kincaid for the Bills, touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. 
And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive span five plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here's Mahomes to throw. And the catch made by Hopkins. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Mahomes now to throw. Finding Hardman here over the middle. Second and five. To throw, it's Mahomes. Locates Hardman for another catch. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. And Hardman's going to pick up a Chiefs first down as he'll take this down to the 44-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports. Ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 40, right around the 39. So solid starting field position. The Bills offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared right isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things that's what we're staring at right now the way this one is going so the shotgun snap to allen looking on the out route he finds shakir they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds A tenth carry in the game for Cook. A little juke. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Play action. Now it's Allen. Wide open. Amari Cooper. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 6-9-9. 
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Cook. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Again, it's Cook. And this time, he's in for a Buffalo touchdown. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Now here's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. Still going inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Miko Hardman, 71 yards. And the Chiefs are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Now they send the tight end in motion left. Mahomes will throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Motion man is Shakir. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. Offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Allen running the option to the left. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Motion man is Shakir. Allen now looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Allen going to throw. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. 
And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Here's Cook again. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll run it. Here's Cook. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Holding offense. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? What's that? What's that? Throwing now is Allen. That is incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. And that is no good. And this will remain an 18-point lead. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Kansas City starting a drive, hoping to utilize the speed of that man, McCole Hardman. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, <laughs> don't you? Yes, make, you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Mahomes going to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it. But he couldn't seal the deal. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And Hunt is not going to get there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. It's interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Here's the Chiefs punter now. He's been terrific so far. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. From the gun, it's Allen. That's Samuel, caught left side. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now second and seven from the 23. Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Allen from the gun on third down. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Here's Sam Martin now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're gonna try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. 
Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Now Mahomes looking for Hopkins, and he's got him on the crossing route. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. To throw, it's Allen. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Tershawn Wharton. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. Throwing on second and long. Allen going to throw right side here. Complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone, to Orchard Park, just south of Buffalo. We're set to go as the Bills are in possession of the football in quarter number four. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, 
stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. To the air, Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. They'll give to Cook on the read option. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Cameron Thomas. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. Staying on his feet. And that is incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. And able to get this out to the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. 23 yards, the final tally. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. And brought down there by Taylor Rapp. From the 46, here's second down and five. Here's Mahomes to throw. 
is here as he's taken down. Von Miller in there for sack number 127 in his great career, moving him past Kansas City Hall of Famer Derek Thomas on the all-time list. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coach, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. They work now on second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. And the catch made by Hopkins. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now that sets up third and two. to throw it's Mahomes work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one but correct me if I'm wrong yeah you're down two scores I don't think you need to rush just yet but you can't take your time either yeah even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense you have to up the tempo up the urgency maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Mahomes to throw once more. Finds his man, Watson over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now here's Mahomes. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? That is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. DeAndre Hopkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they need. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. Remember, he called his own number on the touchdown run earlier, and that's something he's been able to do with some frequency this season, as you see here where he ranks among NFL quarterbacks. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Cook up the gut. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run again. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They run it again with Cook. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Delay of game penalty. Ships them back five yards, makes it third and ten. Back to throw. Allen. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the 6-yard line. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down by 6. 20 seconds to go. Their undefeated season hits in danger unless they can score here as they've got a first and 10. Mahomes. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfielder so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Mahomes will throw. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. This defense not going to lag back. They come with pressure that time, force him out of the pocket, and the incompletion. And so many times when you're watching a game, you're seeing the offense doing all the dictating. In this case, the defense said, we're dictating the terms, and turned it loose towards him. Now this incomplete, and I don't see any flags coming out. He was clearly in the pocket, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, and that brings up fourth down. This ball intercepted. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off so he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up but he's going to want to keep that game ball he was sensational what a ball game this was what an atmosphere this was and the home team getting the late touchdown getting the victory and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces and what do real estate people tell us all the time it's location 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 so being at home that could be a big deal because remember 
They were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them.